Hello everyone and welcome back to day two of Pwn to Own Vancouver 2022. I am Dustin Child, Senior Communications Manager for the Zero Day Initiative. And with me I have uh, the Senior VP for Threat Research at Trend Micro, Mike Gibson. Mike, how are you doing? Good, Dustin. Thank you. And with me, ZDI Analyst Matt Powell. Living the dream. <laughs> Absolutely. So, it's the end of day two and we thought we'd take a couple minutes to sit down and talk about the first two days of the contest. Yesterday, day one, we had a record-breaking day. $800,000 awarded, and that was amazing. As of today, right now, we still are awaiting one more thing to see whether or not it was confirmed, but we are currently at $945,000 confirmed. At 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, we have a $150,000 attempt. That'll get us over $1 million, and that's the cool thing. So, but before we get there, I know everybody wants to talk about the 800-pound vehicle in the room, the Tesla. So, <laughs> Matt, uh, you work with the Tesla. Take us through this morning's attempt with Synactive. Uh, so this morning, we, uh, we set up here on stage. Uh, they sat down with the, the, the folks from Tesla, and they were able to su successfully pull off their uh, exploit. Okay. Mike, you were here for that. Um, what, what did you, how would you describe the tension in the room as that was going on? It's, uh, this room was packed. Yeah, there was people, you know, it was, it was shoulder to shoulder, and uh, you could feel, you could see everybody was, was kind of feeling this, and empathizing with, the, with the, uh, the, the participants and wanting to, you know, make sure that they were successful. And you, you kind of get that vibe at Pondo, and it's, everybody yeah. wants to see everybody win. Everybody wants to see everybody win, even the other competitors most of the time. Uh, especially since we announced that each round is getting full payouts, uh, which means that we had to sequester our budget person into an undisclosed location, but I promise you they are safe and will be returned <laughs> once they pay out. Uh, so now going back to that Synactive exploit, we had three bugs, two of which were unique, and then we had a, a bug collision. Can you explain the bug collision at all? It was just something that they were previously aware of, and uh, so it wasn't a true zero day to them. So. Um, and when you say th them in this point, we were talking about Tesla. Tesla, okay. Tesla of course, knew about uh, this particular uh, vector of attack. Okay, but the other two bugs were unique, right? Correct. That's great. So two unique bugs and a bug collision that equates to $75,000. They don't automatically win the car, but Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, 75 k buys the car, right? I think they could probably put a pretty good down they payment, could put a good on, good the payment yeah. on it. Okay, yeah. that's good. Uh, we also saw a couple of elevation of privilege uh, attempts today that were very successful. And that's great. And then we had uh, the failed attempt this afternoon uh, at the Tesla outside. So Matt, you were in the front seat of that car. I was standing in front of it. Um, take us what, through, as best as you can briefly, what was going on inside the car at the time. So we spent the, the, the setup period, of course, getting everything set up, uh, verifying the researchers, uh, all the s scripts and everything were in place. Uh, for his exploit, uh, verifying connectivity to and from the car, uh, and just basically doing sanity checks to make sure you know the firmware of the cars, mm -hmm. the version the researcher expected, and all that. And then once the um, attempt started, uh, that's when it got super tense. Um, yes, I, I can see the sweat dripping like, down. It is. It, it is one of the most intense things. Like, and I don't get any money, <laughs> <laughs> and so like, but I, I want desperately for everyone to win, and I, you know, I feel like I, you know, you get that butterflies in your stomach kind of feeling, right. and it's just nerve wracking. And you see the script running, and you see the different stages, and you're like, come on, come is on. Is it worse when when you're like the proxy for a remote participant versus just yeah, sitting beside was, them? The, the, the competitor wasn't in the car with you except on a Teams call, right? Correct, and it's the uh, the connection's not really the best here in the hotel, <laughs> so uh, we had some challenges. But yeah, it's definitely more intense for the analyst involved when the researcher is not physically here, especially. In this case, where we went into multiple rounds and troubleshooting was involved, um, it can really add on to your the time being used to, for the attempts. Yeah. So it's it's tense, and then you got your boss saying, you know, you got 12 minutes left, and uh, <laughs> just got to go. And, uh, yeah, and we went from a chilly, breezy afternoon to now you're sweating inside your jacket. I was in the car in a beanie and a coat, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> they had the windows down. It's a little chilly outside, and get cold up here, but yeah. and yeah, but by the the last 10 minutes or so, yeah, I was about ready to take the coat off and the hat. It was pretty tense. Yeah, and Mike, you were out there too. I know that the crowd was milling about for quite a while. It was amazing to see how many people stuck around for so long 
wanting to see it happen. Actually, the, what I found really interesting wasn't the the conference crowd joining us. It was the random people walking by the street. Yes. The number of times I had to explain to just people walking by what was happening and you know how the contest worked. And one gentleman stood with me for like what felt like 15 minutes as he was like, okay, what are they doing now? What are they doing now? And unfortunately, I'm like, I don't know, Matt's in the car. I can't, I can't tell you. I, I just want to see a thumbs up from Matt. That's all I was hoping for. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for, too. And it was really interesting because we were filming and we were doing the, the attempt outside, uh, just in downtown Vancouver, outside of the Wall Center. So there's construction going on. There's people walking by. Uh, we, of course, we can't impede traffic. So, yeah, it was quite interesting to see the people walking by, just taking pictures and, and enjoying it. Uh, we've got one more day of the contest left, uh, one more team's attempt, and I think a few uh, elevation of privileges. Matt, uh, what do we know about the team's attempt tomorrow morning? Do we know it? Because I know you'll be running that one as well, right? I'll be running that as well, the remote contestant. Uh, I believe it's just uh, send a link. Send a link. Okay, well, that's uh, pretty good. Well, these, I mean, these team's exploits have, like, have Terrifying. Scary. Yeah, scary, 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 scary. Terrifying. From zero uh, click to, you know, invite <laughs> someone to a, to a chat or a group, it's, it's really been interesting. Yeah, I think that it is really kind of the story to come out of this Pondone is the Microsoft Teams exploits uh, and the various levels of severity. It's, like you mentioned, one yesterday was zero click. So that means the, the end user has no interaction whatsoever. You just have Teams open and boom, you get taken advantage of. So if you talk about, you know, fancy ways for malware, for ransomware to spread, you could take over an entire organization just without any user interaction at all. Uh, so that's frightening. Uh, so that's I'm, I'm really interesting, too, to see the team stuff. And I know Microsoft is appreciative to get it kind of off the street, as it were, uh, and get those bugs into their program to get addressed. <clears throat> do you know, I'm trying to remember, what other bugs do we have going tomorrow? I believe they're all just Windows LPEs. It, Windows LPEs. We had quite a few Windows LPEs, too. So that's a local privilege escalation. And uh, I really thought we were going to have tons of collisions on that. Mike, uh, what, were you expecting a bunch of collisions? Were we counting on a bunch of collisions from the budget? We, don't, we don't budget for collisions. In fact, you know, um, Matt got to join on the last uh, budget discussion call as we come into these. Um, Ryan always gives me the good news on how much we're going to get, you know, likely give away. And we do not plan for collisions. We actually hope we don't get collisions. Right. We want to make sure that uh, ideally everybody wins the full prize. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah, that's definitely the goal. But uh, when you have so many in a single category, you kind of expect it. I'm really personally surprised we haven't had tons of collisions. We just had the one collision on the Tesla of all things, uh, but no other collisions and just one failed entry. Uh, of the EOP category, so that's that's been amazing. Right, let's hope there's no failures, no collisions. We got to get over that million dollar mark. Yeah, we got to get over a million dollars, especially for the 15th anniversary of the contest. Whew, I mean, it's it's been a day, um, but we'll see you tomorrow. We are going to have another full day of exploits, another full day of tremendous research on display. Join us as we go through both the teams and the elevation of privilege. And we award the Master of Pwn, which is the overall winner of the contest. We have some beautiful white jackets to put on some folks. We'll put them on virtually because I don't think the Master of Pwn winners will be here on site. Uh, but we'll make sure that gets shipped. Matt, will them. you also proxy that? You'll I will. Yeah. We'll proxy one on, on Matt. And maybe Michael DuPont will like wear the other one for us. He's got a nice frame that fills out that jacket quite well. <laughs> uh, but join us tomorrow online here on Twitter. Remember to follow us on Twitter at the ZDI. Follow all the results on our blog, zerodayinitiative.com slash blog. And hey, look, if you're here at the conference, come down to the Orca Room, see us, see what happens as it goes live, and feel the tension as we do it. But if not, thanks for joining us, and hey, let's have some fun, and we'll see you tomorrow.